Hi guys and welcome back to Temple Boy Turnings. You are all very welcome. The last few videos that I put up were um, vlogs, very short videos on my journey to and from the uh, UK IWS Wood Turning Symposium 2016. Um, and as one of the organisers, I was blown away with the response and with how it went. It was absolutely fantastic. And thank you to everybody that came along. Um, you made the day. Uh, if it wasn't for all of your support, then it just wouldn't have happened. So thank you very much. And here's to 2017. Let the organizing commence. This week, um, I was lucky enough to come across, just up the road from me, someone cut down a sycamore tree um, it's fresh wood, it's still wet, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, turn one of my laced vases from this log. Um, I haven't done one of the laced projects yet on a video because uh, I was demonstrating it last week um, and I wanted to, the guys that were going to the symposium to see how it's done. Now the demonstration didn't quite go to plan. It was my first public demonstration and uh, the nerves got the better of me. But um, anyway, that was a learning curve. Uh, so without further ado, we're gonna stick it between centers on the lathe and we're gonna start making this into a laced vase. Okay, so I have my log in between centers and uh, we're just gonna make it round. We're going about 700 there at the moment. Okay, we're not far off round there, so I'm going to uh, straighten up both ends and uh, put a tenon on this end so we can reverse it and put it into the chuck.
Okay, so I have that to the shape that I want it and it's sanded to 240 grit all over, inside and out, or as far as I can get inside anyway. And it's now um, that I've got to put some sand and sealer on. Lovely, jubbly. Okay, so I have um, finished that inside and out. And as you can see, the cracks have got slightly worse on this side. But as I said, I'm not worried about that. Um, so the next stage of this is we're gonna cut out a section from this piece to make it look like a piece of clothing. Um, so I just freehand normally. I want to try and get rid of, cut out all those cracks. Yep. There you go. You can see where I've marked that. And I'm going to cut that section out. see see how thin I went There you go. So now it's just a matter of uh, sanding up these edges and getting them nice and rounded off. As you can see there's cracks on the inside of this piece. Um, I'm going to try and fill in with a bit of uh, sawdust I think. Uh, but it doesn't show on this side. So, um, But that's the trouble with these pieces. The inside is just as important as the outside. So. Um, this isn't 100% this one, but still it's showing you how, how I make these forms. So I'm just going to sand up this and, uh, and finish it off a bit nicely and then I'll come back in a sec to show you how I do the um, eyelets and the lace. Okay, so <clears throat> welcome back. Um, things have changed <laughs> since I... Uh, last was on the camera um, <clears throat> I wasn't happy with the cracks that had formed inside once I'd finished the inside I wasn't happy with the cracks that had formed on the inside you could see them and it just took away the look from the piece so the cracks don't show on the back so what I've done is I've taken some um, acrylic paints and I've just coloured the inside. I've just used a brush and gone backwards and forwards with different colours and built it up and built it up um, and built up the paint just to kind of give it this coloured um, flared look inside. Uh, you probably can't see it brilliantly there um, but I'll show you some pictures at the end anyway. Um, and also I've given it a clear lacquer spray, acrylic lacquer on top of the uh, acrylic paints. So it, it kind of brings out the inside and then I've gone around the edges uh, with black then. Now I've left the rough kind of look of the of the paints as well. I didn't sand it back. I kind of like the, the, the rustic colour flare look. You'll see what I mean uh, at the end. I, I, I kind of like that look. Not, 
Not always is a perfect shiny finish the best. I, I, I like a bit of texture in some of my work that I do. So I've kind of left that textured paint look. So the next move now in, this, uh, in these laced forms is obviously putting the eyelets in. Now I've marked where I'm going to put the eyelets just with a, 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 fine, a fine tipped pen. And then uh, I've used a, one of these small wooden drill bits that has a, a point on the end and I've just marked in like a bradle that, so that the drill, when I go drilling it, it doesn't slip. Um, I'm using a, a number five drill. So it's a five millimeter drill. And uh, that, that matches the uh, eyelets that I'm gonna be using. There you go. That's the, the eyelets there. I've got some square ones and I have some stars as well. And I've gone for the brass look ones. That's kind of, I'm running a bit low on them now. As you can see, you can get them in all kinds of kits like this. And there's all sorts, there's like um, horseshoe ones and uh, there's, uh, there's butterflies there and there's there's all kinds of uh, different designs that you can get in all different colors but uh, you can get them online and they're really cheap and you can get them with the tools as well this is the crimp that goes with it has a, a, a nub just here and then just like a cove this end and what happens is when you line the the little nub there into the cleat and squeeze it it squashes it down pretty much like a pot rivet so, and that's why you need it to be uh, thin walled because as you can see, there's not much uh, depth there. Now you could just super glue them in if you didn't want to turn it too thin, but I, I kind of, I like the thinness because it gives it that um, contour of, of clothing or, do you know. So, next stage is we get our drill and we drill our holes. Now what I've done is I've put some uh, painter's tape just on the inside um, to stop it breaking out. Um, it, it tends to uh, reduce the amount of breakout that, that you get. And then very carefully we just drill our holes. And I mean very carefully. You don't want to put any pressure on this. As you can see it's very thin. If you push too hard you're going to crack it. So you need to support it with your fingers and, uh, and then drill through. There you go. Now you do still get a certain amount of breakout, you're not going to stop it all, but as I say the cleats when they're in they tend to uh, hide any small amount of breakout out that you've got. But, uh, I think I'll put the square ones at the bottom. Yeah, I'm going, to put two, I'm going to put the square ones at the bottom. It's a shame I haven't got enough stars, but I, don't, I think that would look all right. It's on then. And then we get our tool here, and we crimp them. I don't know if you can see that there, you just get the tool in, you line up your little nub at the bottom and you just squeeze. And it squeezes the eyelets in. Now obviously don't squeeze too hard. 
because you could crack the wood. There you go. That's them all in. Now, you can use any kind of laces you want. You can buy these just normal shoelaces. You can get them in all different colours. I've got some here I can show you. Um, this is actually paracord that you can buy quite cheap as well online. They're just uh, all different colours. But uh, while I was at UKIS last weekend, I bumped into a man called Martin Clarkson. Hi Martin. And he was very kind enough to give me some strips of leather. Uh, he's given me all sorts of gold. I think brown and black actually is what he's given me, but strips of leather. So I thought I would try some leather on this one. So you just thread in that way. Now leather is a bit thicker than laces and the string. So you have to feed it in. Yeah, I like that. That's I do like the leather, gives it a nice look. And then obviously you can uh to the length you want that's uh, that's generally that's it that's what it looks like I'll, uh, I'll put a few pictures up at the end I'll part it off and uh, I'll show you what it looks like at the end and there you go guys one laced form um, yeah I kind of like how it come out I, I, I really like the colours inside I know it's a bit different to what I was planning. I just didn't like the, the stress cracks that had happened because it was green wood. I think it was drying out too quick because I turned it thin. And uh, But they're not showing in the back, which is good. So uh, I just hit it with the colour. Just laid in um, the acrylic paints and just drew back the brush just to kind of give it that um, drawn out look as if it's coming out of the vase. And uh, yeah, and then the black outline, obviously, just to uh, exaggerate the uh, the edge of the piece. Yeah, I like the way it's come out. I, re I really do. Um, I do enjoy making these lace forms. Um, I'll put up a picture of it up at the end of with a, with a couple of his brothers and sisters that I've made, just to show you the different designs that you can do. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. I did. Um, as promised, I, I, I promised the guys at UKIS I would make a video, and here it is. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much. Please like and share the video. Uh, leave comments down below, and uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks a million, guys. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.